Hi, I'm Christian Bacusis, but you can just call me Boo. And I'm not the sort of guy that gets very excited by much, but I am excited by what I'm going to share with you today. For many of us, COVID has turned our world upside down. We are anxious, uncertain, and really not quite sure what's going to happen next. We're concerned about our own well-being and those around us. What if I told you that this sort of environment was an environment that was identified many years ago and there was a solution? In the 90s, the military adopted an acronym called VUCA. And VUCA stood for an environment that was volatile, uncertain, complex, and finally, ambiguous. In a volatile market, things are unpredictable and they're rapidly changing. In an uncertain environment, we are not able to find the right information at the right time to help us make those really good decisions. The complexity of an interconnected world, a global supply chain, and even inside our own large organizations creates difficult problems to solve. And some of these problems are impossible to solve. We need to work around them. An ambigu ambiguity. Ambiguity is your messaging misinterpreted or misunderstood by your team. Not only creating more confusion, but creating more uncertainty and more VUCA despite your best intentions. So VUCA sounds like a pretty horrendous environment to operate in, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't have to be. There are a small group of people that have learned to adapt and thrive in VUCA environments and have learned that operating within VUCA is a mindset. The fighter pilot is trained and adapted to work within this environment. And let's have a little bit of a look at what a fighter pilot is. Not the movie star kind of fighter pilot, the real fighter pilot like these guys. Fighter pilots are the product of a $15 million training program. The aircraft they operate burn over $80,000 per hour of resources. The aircraft fly 1,500 kilometers per hour, and in the last 40 years in Australia, only 400 fighter pilots have been trained. More people have played test cricket for Australia than flown fighter aircraft. Today, 60 fighter pilots are operationally ready to fly these aircraft. And whilst operating at 1500 kilometers per hour, the tolerance for error is only five seconds. Despite that adversity in operating on the most challenging environments on the planet, fighter pilots succeed 98% of the time. I'm gonna share some insight into how I experienced VUCA after I left the Air Force. 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with a medical condition called ankylosing spondylitis, or ANKSPOND for short. It's a horrendous version of arthritis and it's an autoimmune condition where your body attacks the healthy tissue. I could no longer fly these amazing aircraft and my life dream was torn away. Not only that, the little property portfolio that I had been diligently building was annihilated uh, thanks to the GFC. So here I was at 30 years old, I had to make a decision. And thanks to my fighter pilot training, I learned that the only person that was gonna change things or make an opportunity was me. So I did what every young 30 year old did at the time. And I jumped on a plane and I moved to Kabul. And I founded a company called CTG. Christian, me, Thomas, my business partner, group, two of us. It turns out that our ambitions uh, weren't maligned. We did manage to grow this business up to $40 million before selling it and making a transition back home. Riding the wave of success, I decided to found a new company, a product of a, a property developer that specialized in modular construction. And five years ago, we built the world's tallest prefabricated modular building, Pepper's King Square in the Perth CBD. 17 stories in 11 weeks. Still a record to this day. VUCA struck again. On completion, we suffered the biggest resource crash in Western Australia in over 30 years. And the hotel never ended up filling up appropriately. The hotel never ended up filling up the way we liked it to. Add in today, uh, coronavirus, and here we go. No hotel, it's now closed. Around that time period though, I had a feeling that the world was gonna change. Uh, that property was going to be in trouble. So I thought, why don't I diversify? Uh, fortunately and unfortunately, I diversified into another market that was being disrupted heavily. I was fueled in this business by passion. I acquired a magazine called Australian Aviation. And Australian Aviation was the magazine I used to read as a six-year-old child, and it inspired me to become a pilot. You can imagine being that deeply connected with the purpose of what you do each and every day. 
I'm proud to say that we diversified from a print publication into a digital publication and managed to sell that business only this year. Funnily enough, the organization that acquired this business is now a digital partner with me now in this business and it's from their studio I'm talking to you to deliver uh, this program. For some people, it's surfing. For others, skateboarding or uh, basket weaving. But for me, it's flying. So as of this year, I had the good fortune to reconnect with aviation back in the cockpit. And today, I fly a civilian fighter jet called a Learjet as a target flying back with my friends from the Air Force. I, will, I am well and truly living out my life's dream and to my life's purpose. I had a unique opportunity five years ago to meet an organisation called Afterburner Australia. A co-op of fighter pilots that had been operating around the world for over 20 years, uh, delivering a program called Flawless Execution. The founder of Afterburner, a gentleman called Jim Murphy and myself, co-authored a book called On Time, On Target. This book is the Bible to allow you to learn what it is about fighter pilots and how the skills they develop to overcome and thrive in VUCA can be applied to your business. What is it? What is the secret sauce? For fighter pilots, we understand implicitly that everything is a dynamic environment. From the minute we take off, anything can change. We live and breathe and operate in VUCA. The most important attribute to a fighter pilot is their ability to develop situational awareness. Situational awareness is the ability to find the right information at the right time to empower a good decision, which equals actions, and most importantly, those actions achieve the desired effect or strategy you're trying to achieve. We understand that developing situational awareness is a process, it doesn't come naturally. And that process is the flawless execution method. Simple plans, well communicated, executed with utmost focus, and most importantly, the fourth step, debriefed. A conversation where we ask ourselves, where do we want to be today relative to where we are? And adapting our plan to overcome adversity day by day. Debriefing is by far the most important step and it's also the most challenging step for any organisation. We learned very early on to develop a culture called nameless and rankless. When we have these conversations around performance, they're inevitably personal. But we don't care. We're about what's right, not who's right. We understand a little bit more about VUCA. We understand that fighter pilots can operate within this environment and somehow achieve a success rate of 98%. So what are the keys to success when VUCA is affecting your livelihood or your business? For volatility, we need to be patient. We can't be patient without a plan. When it comes to uncertainty, we're going to make bad decisions. Some decisions are only bad. But what's important is once we make those decisions, we review them frequently and adapt through the debriefing process. Relationships are key. There's nothing more nurturing than the ability to sit down in a debrief and discuss our own misgivings and concerns and apply them to a future state or our future plans. Ambiguity needs to be addressed through effective communication. Our plans and our communication, the way we talk, need to be completely aligned and not change day to day. When we open our mouths, we need to ensure that we are on point and that we do not open our mouths if we're uncertain as to what we want to achieve. Operating in a VUCA environment does not need to be the threat it seems to be. We've been vuca here, an afterburner, and I've been vuca as a public speaker. I can no longer jump into your organisation, participate in your annual events. I cannot interact with you face-to-face, -face, grab your hand, say hello. So we've adapted our programs to be delivered digitally, and we understand the value of real-time engagement. So we work with online polling to understand in real time what your pain points are, We've enabled an online Q&A forum so we can live and breathe your business and give you the tools and tips that we've learned as fighter pilots to thrive in VUCA. If you are feeling utterly VUCA'd, make sure you reach out and find us. Google Afterburner Australia or find me, Christian Boo Bacusis, on LinkedIn so we can work with you and hold your hands and equip you with the mindset and the tools to underpin your success.